very good day to you. We're still in Mark 1 verse 45. It's getting serious now. But let me read. They came to him from every quarter. Our heading, a gain of godliness. Do not indulge the hope that all who professedly come to Christ, even there, though they are all so admirably sound and orthodox, have all of them really come to Jesus? For even there a mixture will be found. Many are called and few are chosen. They came to Christ from every quarter, from the land of hypocrisy and formality, as well as from the country of sincerity. So firstly, many came to Christ in his day and followed him from the lowest of motives. Loaves and fishes were good by then, and they are still now. A taste for the church loaves and fishes is pretty, pretty common still, so that many come to the church and nominally to Christ from the quarter of the land called selfishness, and so make a gain of godliness. Some come to our Lord merely to receive benefits to their bodies. They brought a blind eye to be healed, or a withered arm to be restored, but they obtained no spiritual gifts. Thus do many derive benefit from the religion of Jesus of a moral and a mental kind, but they miss the nobler boons of the spiritual life. And secondly, a number come to Christ out of admiration of his eloquence, for he spake as never man spake, and it is no wonder that the women of the multitude exclaimed in admiration, Blessed is the womb that bore bear thee. How true, however, was our Lord's reply. Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. He turned their mind to something better than admiration, namely, believing reception and application. We must not wonder if we still find that some profess to come to Christ because he is eloquently set forth by his ministers or because the poetical beauties of the Bible and the natural charms of religion win their taste and hold them within their spell. It is a poor coming which arises from this and nothing more. I pray, O oh Lord Jesus, I need to reflect upon my own life. So help me, where am I at, at this moment? and this time. In Jesus' name, Amen.